So this lady surprising her long distance boyfriend. I can't play the music due to copyrights. Surprising my long distance boyfriend. 14 hours of flying over 5,000 miles from America to what is that? What sound is it? I don't know. She put up on that boy. <laughs> oh, look at that boy. Look at that boy. What y'all think? I uh, think he liked the surprise. Do y'all think he liked that surprise? I uh, think he liked that surprise. My fool ain't even get up or nothing, bro. You should be happy you can clap some cheeks, man. You should be happy you, should, you clap some cheeks. But like, who the fuck is this recording me? How she got up in there, though? That's a great question. He like chilling. How she got up in there? They say he got approximately 24 minutes to devise a plan to get her out the crib before his wife comes home for work. I know that look anywhere. Goddamn, boy. The bridal looking statue and fake flower screams, wife. Goddamn, look at that shit. These type of women who propose to men uh, in public for the extra sprinkle of embarrassment. Good God. Next story, though. Hey, don't mind me looking like a damn construction worker today. I had a rough night. So, everybody. They asked me, why are you so pretty and why are you single? I'm single because nowadays it's normalized to wife up hoes. What? Hear that again. I'm single because it's nowadays is normalized to wife up hoes. They don't want a good girl. Nobody wants a good girl. Nobody wants a girl that stays home and cooks and, you know, has... Everybody wants the fucking bitch that gets naked on social media. And I'm gonna know I'm gonna get shit for it. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm gonna tell, you, tell ladies like this. Get y'all ass off social media. <laughs> the people that want girls that are naked on social media are, are the men that's on social media. The world is much bigger than that, baby girl. The world is much bigger than that. Get off social media. Go and live life. So, dude toes his ex his new boyfriend's car. Let's see what's up with this, man. Girlfriend got a nigga at her crib, right? I just looked in the window. They in their sleep. Yo, girl. So guess what I do? I put this shit on my tow truck. Oh. This bitch fucking with this nigga with this raggly ass car. How you know, you know what I'm saying? Car? It's raggly ass car. How you know this is car? Hello? Really? Really? Don't take your car. Really? We ain't together no more. I'm saying, man, my nigga, we just broke up yesterday. What the fuck wrong with you? Got a nigga over there. Hello? Nah, I got You really gonna take his car? Shit, I took that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm finna jump that motherfucker. Fuck, dude. On everything, fuck you and that nigga. Bitch. Damn. Hello? <laughs> What's funny? Ain't nothing funny, nigga. Hello? Bye. Damn, what's up with the sound? I don't know what happened with the sound in that video. It's all off like a motherfucker, but that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, all right. So hold this L. Houston customer sue stripper he has a relationship with for a fun. I don't believe in loans. He's becoming a regular, and we did become friends. I really like him as a friend, and I still do. We had a dating relationship, and... Uh, on May 3rd, I, we had broken up. Robert Wallace says he loaned the dancer about two grand and he wants it back along with a laptop and some DVDs. I don't believe in loans because I don't want to pay anybody back. What? I know how stubborn she can be. So after a week of waiting for, for her to return my things, uh, I decided to file uh, a suit to get my stuff back. Since the word loan doesn't seem to be in Nomi's vocabulary, and Robert says the cash and other items were not gifts, it looks like an out-of-court settlement is out of the question. I've given him gifts too. You know, I mean, how do I get my booty and boobs back? Still, both sides say they've learned a lesson. Robert says he's not dating any more strippers. I kind of did kind of see it possibly ending this way. And Nomi says... Is that even a woman? I don't know, lady. Sometimes you guys got to tone it down with the um, the makeup, especially if you guys already have masculine features. You got to be real light with the makeup, so you got to maintain your femininity with that shit. Y'all be going too OD with it, man. Next story, though. So tell me why I was swiping on ten and I saw my boyfriend. Can men be loyal? <laughs> I think he was there looking for you, so he can fall in love all over again. 
I like that. <laughs> the streets won't forget his W, my brother. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Next third. All right, so catfish is to wash your ass. What? Fresh out the side, babe. Like you ass waiting on you. Lamont, I'm not coming. I just wanted you to take a bath. I told you I was coming because I couldn't think of any other way to make you. How you got to get coerced to take a shower, nigga? What the fuck? All right, so check out my boy. My boy Miami got jokes. Let's see what my dog Rick got to say. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop right there on me. Y'all boys, y'all boys, tell me why this, this stud looks so handsome, kid. <laughs> Beautiful smile, nice skin. Kid, she look like she about 6'3. Dog, how you can tell that? Kid, that, yo, why, why these studs look so handsome? Dog, look at this. Dog, if I was a dumb homie, I'd let kid grease. What? I'd let, if I was a dumb, I'd let kid grease. Now with the stop though, y'all boys, y'all boys, relax. <laughs> <laughs> that boy don't want it. The kid. What what the studs that used to that that used to wear the like the the little Nike backpack with the string and they tie it up here type. <laughs> <laughs> kid, where, kid, kid, where the studs that used to be built like hot air balloons, kid. <laughs> these these new studs they gonna replace us for me? No, they fucking not. These, look at, I'm out. Kid. I don't know. <laughs> Follow ZB on Twitter, man. I'm on Instagram. I don't know the homie got uh, Twitter. Miami got jokes. Homie funny and fuck, man. All right, girls need love too. Do it curve. <laughs> to the left, yeah. When I got to hide it, I have to hook it under my thigh. No cap. Oh, she sent the number now. That's your baby daddy in your media? Focus. Hell no, nah. homie trying to be a good Samaritan, you know, a good brother, and look out, you know, try to be, you know, do the right thing like Spike Lee. And she told that boy, focus, goddamn, bro. Love cheat in peace, man. Love cheat in peace. Who are you to stop her from getting her side meat? Damn. Sucks to be that baby daddy. Maybe he's, maybe he's broken up. She's just saying, remember to delete the pictures. I, I don't know. She's trying to make sure them child support payments keep coming on time. Who knows? Next story, dude. All right. So, Young Miami asks, what age do y'all consider old? And this person simply responded, Diddy. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Oh, man. But if you guys didn't know, uh, a couple weeks ago, um, probably last week, Young Miami and uh, one of Diddy's side chick, those fussing, fussing back and forth. Um, I don't feel like bringing all that shit up right now, but the girl ended up conceding, and um, she blocked Diddy on everything. So I guess Young Miami stays with Diddy. All right, so my ex this, my ex that. Can you explain why they still on your mind? Oh, man, bro. I hate that shit. La ladies, ladies, st stop. Don't be bringing up your ex all the damn time. Like, we don't want to hear that shit. Fellas, don't be bringing up your ex all the time. They don't want to hear that damn shit. If you want your partner to be insecure for no damn reason, bring up your ex. And good the fuck luck. Good the fuck luck. Next story. So, the We In Miami podcast, which is the um the anti-fresh and fit podcast, they were speaking about Chris Brown. Check him out. How many girls do you think Chris Brown has smashed in his whole career? Jesus. Maybe 10,000. Really? Yeah. I'm, talking about nigga like, like that. I'm not cool with him. Like, me either. I with him once and oh, you chill with me. Chris? He tried me, but he just kind of said, like, if you ain't f it's like, get the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> but, that's regular, but that's regular. Damn, God. Chris said, if you ain't sucking, get the but, f out. A lot of people think the lyrics in the songs are fake. Like, when you're talking about Chris Brown, Future, Gunna, Young Thug, they telling the truth. But you got to do that for, for consent reasons. You got to make that announcement like, we about to have a sexy party. You about to be fucking in this motherfucker. If you ain't going to be here changing, like you ain't going to be here chilling, get the fuck on. Like you got to make that announcement and people decide to stay there and chill. Like you consenting. Like the shit that went on with T.I., they was having sex parties, drug parties. Like they were doing it, and it, I, I've heard before from strippers down in Miami saying it was a consensual thing. They'll be fucking a bunch of chicks together, doing a whole bunch of drugs, and just being that bitch lit. It was all consensual, and bitches get paid too. That's how the shit was going down. Um, we we vibe. I'm talking my shit, and I ain't censoring my words. I'm sorry for the ladies. You vibe with the boys right now, so. Act like you with your big brother and the boys are talking. So, 
Like when they say if we if you ain't freaking we ain't speaking, that's real. When Frick say she ain't busting over, call the Uber back. Have you ever uh, been yeah. at a party and you, you saw this happen? Like some chicks what? were there, yes. And Chris Brown or one Bro, of these guys. I've had like, girls removed from a party because they lied to me and said that they was DTF. And when they got to the party with all the celebrities at, they wanted to act regular. I'm like, yo, security, can you tell them to leave? Period. How many girls fuck do you think here. Chris Brown is? Fuck out of here, man. Take your ass home with your man. So Chris Brown says, shoddy fry. <laughs> These are the type of females that I would never smash. Chill with Chris. Sounds like I wasn't interested, so she had to settle for one of the homies. Chris Brown out here doing them dirty. How he's supposed to, man. Next story. All right, so men really get upset when you verbalize how you like to be loved. Sir, no one said you have to be the man to love me. If I say I want my doors open and you view that as a chore more than a gesture, it's simple move <laughs> and i respect that i'm gonna keep a g i respect that i respect that it's that's me to me she didn't that don't sound like a lot if that ish that right there that don't sound like a lot for me that may be sound like a lot for another man and that's a lot for you that's a lot for you everybody should do what the fuck they want to do with who the fuck they want to do it with. and it is what it is just be like that <laughs> And there haven't been stuff like that in about two, two years. Wow, guys, I'm talking about eating. You guys are dirty. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right, so who's been in a situation like this before? Hannah, she don't move my hand, but I swear to God. With the hand, she don't move my hand, but I swear to God. Oh, I swear to God. It's crazy. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. Roll it one more time. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one pile ain't gonna believe it. I'm gonna try to hold the move. You know, you gotta try to do it. She's not moving, bro. I'm trying to let that, bro. Just let me pull it out. It's over. Gotta slide it up in there. It's over. Here we go. Here we go. You put it down. Oh, she ain't doing that. Oh, she gonna help me? What is over? Let's go. Let's go. My dog got her. I was trying to go for the. I would went for the titty for. I like. Put on the titties and shit. Homie went for the killer. <laughs> Look at his face. That nigga like With the hands. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go back to homie face. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. Big does. Big does. <laughs> Look at this shit here. Yeah, you got the vibrator panties on, right? You don't make no noise in the story. My father the goodbye. You got a bet. She got vibrator panties, panties, panties on. on. Yeah, you got the vibrator panties on, right? You don't make no noise in the story. My father the goodbye. Cloud chasing, man. Cloud chasing has it be going too damn far, bro. It be going too damn far. You know what that pussy do. You know what you what you you know what you packing in between them thighs. You know that shit is the gooey geyser. Why would you even think this is the right thing to do? To post with these gray ass pants on. You knew what the fuck was going on. You knew we was going to the gooey geyser. Like, come on, bro. We, we know what's up, bro. We know what's up. It's like, this shit, we'd be much more acceptable if this was just on, like, a precursor to a Pornhub or OnlyFans um, the flick real quick. But this was on a regular timeline. Hold on. This shit was on the regular timelines for everybody to view. Like, hell nah. All I know is, I'm going to go ahead and purchase some vibrating panties for my lady for my nest. 
vacation. Um, that's all I know. Next door. When she only came from her for a free meal. Let's see. Here for you all over here? Yeah, yeah, we good. We good. Uh, y'all need me to go boss yeah. or no? Yes. No, we don't. No, we don't, sir. She's been dry the whole night. And she thinks she's been having to go to, to go meal. She thinks she's she just been just have a, a late night dinner or, or a snack, maybe, or a breakfast in the morning. Nah, ain't going for it. She gonna sit right here and help her. We're gonna die in there today. We're gonna die in there. Thank you, sir. No problem. That's a cold blood. We ain't gonna move until you eat your food. <laughs> we ain't getting up. We ain't getting up. We ain't getting up. We ain't getting up. Get some of that gravy. Get some of that gravy. Get some of that gravy. okay for you all over here? Nigga said, get some of that gravy, though. You gotta enjoy that shit. <laughs> Next story, man. Little dick nigga stay wanting some head. I'm not about to eat you out. Bye. Wow. Oh. Wow. Next story. The woman draws her thong out on. <laughs> That's embarrassing as hell, bro. What the fuck type of shit you got going on? What the hell wrong with you? All right, so that Tasha shit gets old. Y'all always think somebody not going nowhere until y'all really get left. Regrown. Nobody likes that. Motherfuckers be trying to be happy.